really is by definition a medical mystery. A 16-year-old girl in a toddler's body. Years pass and she remains a baby and no one can explain why. Medical researchers fascinated by her condition and some think her genes could hold the key to understanding how we age and maybe something about mortality. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. Brooke Greenberg oh, yeah. might look like a six-month-old infant. Yay! Woo! But in fact, oh, yeah. she just celebrated her 16th birthday. Three. Doctors say she suffers from a rare condition that prevents her not just from growing, but aging. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to see that she is 16 and a half years old. She's 30 inches tall and she's 16 pounds. And she looks like a six and a half to seven month old baby. Photos and home videos of Brooke over the years distinctly show her frozen in time. As people around her grow and change, she remains the same. It's especially clear in pictures with her younger sister, Carly. You can see the succession of Carly aging in most of my pictures, and that's the only way you can really tell. Brooke was delivered four weeks early to parents Howard and Melanie Greenberg. Although there were initial complications, she was sent home after five weeks, and the Greenbergs reveled in their new baby girl. But as the months passed, Brooke didn't develop like her two older siblings. It was like six to nine months we realized she's really not developing as fast. She'd be in the two percentile or three percentile. And by age four, she stopped growing altogether. Doctors were perplexed. They'd never seen anything like this. In medicine, you'd like to be able to label something. The thing about Brooke is she doesn't fit anybody else. Brooke should be in 11th grade, but she cannot walk or talk and has the mental acuity of a nine-month-old. She requires full-time medical care and attends a special needs school in Baltimore. A blue hummingbird for Brookie. Dr. Richard Walker, the director of the Society for Applied Research in Aging, has studied Brooke's cells and DNA, searching for a gene mutation that would explain why she does not age. But to the Greenbergs, Brooke's not a scientific anomaly, just one of their teenage daughters. She looks like a six-month-old, but she kind of has a personality of a 16-year-old. Here, do you not like the doggy? I mean, sometimes we joke about how she rebels. She makes it known what she likes yeah. and what she doesn't like. Now, this is very old-looking. With mod pants, Brooke. If somebody knocked on the door right now, and said, it's a guaranteed pill, give this to Brooke, she'll be fixed. I would say thank you, but no thank you. We love her just the way she is. We don't want to change her. Brooke is a gift by any definition and special to her family and also to the medical community. We're joined by Dr. Richard Walker. You saw him in the piece, a biomedical scientist. How rare is Brooke from your perspective? And what does she mean to you? Well, in my opinion, she's unique in the world. I've never seen anything like, like her in my whole career. And I think, in fact, because of the nature of her condition, that uh, there is not anyone else like her. Uh, she has significance to me because she has a mutation, I feel, in her developmental program, which is a continuum uh, that carries on into aging. So uh, the mutation that affects her, her now and keeps her small is probably the same one that uh, when it's not, when the genes are working normally, will carry us through the aging. So we're trying to study and find the mutation to determine its effects uh, in normal people and see if we can modify, its, modify it to affect aging. So you're looking for a mutation that you could then modify. What could this mean? Best case scenario. Uh, best case scenario is that uh, we, uh, since aging is related to development, if we could actually turn off the genes that carry us into aging, then we have indeterminate life extension, health and vitality for um, as long as can go on. I mean, we, it, it can be indeterminate, really. So when you say indeterminate, science aside, do you think there's a possibility that someone could live forever, or is this all about at what rate you would age? Well, of course, living forever sounds a bit sensational, uh, but in terms of my interest, why do we get old, and uh, all our interests are that. Uh, once we have a key to understanding that, then I think the more practical application is that uh, extension of health and vitality that we experience in youth can go on 
uh, for a longer period of time, and we could reduce some of the suffering of aging. Where are you on the chain of what if? We're, st we're still searching, actually, for uh, the gene. Now, Brooke brings us an important aspect of that. She has a mutation that allows us to search for it. Without that mutation, we'd be looking for a needle in the proverbial haystack. So it would take lifetime, uh, to lifetimes to find it. But since we have this assist, this flag, if you will, by Brooke, uh, hopefully we can locate that gene and start working on it um, uh, in a clinical way uh, in a very short time. Dr. Walker, good luck to you. And thank you for helping explain it to us. Thanks very much. I appreciate being here. Absolutely. Appreciate it as well. You can see more of Brooke's story in the documentary, Child Frozen in Time. It'll be on this Sunday on TLC. And you can read more about this special girl in this week's issue of People magazine and, of course, on abcnews.com.